Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to teach you how to clone SSD to larger SSD safely. We have two parts in this video. Part one: the best SSD cloner. Part two: detailed steps to clone SSD to larger SSD. As time goes by, more and more applications and programs have permissions to write to the system drive, which usually installed on SSD. Your current SSD is almost running out of space, resulting in low running speed. In such circumstances, the best solution is to replace old smaller SSD with a new larger SSD. But do you know how to complete this without boot failure? And save the process of Windows OS and apps reinstallation. A professional third-party software is a must. It can save your time and effort. Most importantly, ensure that new SSD is bootable after cloning. Let's check out. Alme Partition Assistant is a reliable hard drive partition manager that allows us to perform SSD to SSD clone. On Windows 10, 7, 8, XP, and Vista, no matter to clone smaller SSD to larger SSD or clone larger SSD to smaller SSD, it won't let us down. It supports different brands of SSDs. Unlike Samsung data migration, only works with Samsung SSDs, so you won't worry about the brand's limitation. Just Google Ami Partition Assistant, download. And install it. Now you are going to be guided to clone to the larger SSD. Before cloning, you need to install your larger SSD on your PC. If there is only one slot on your motherboard, then use a USB cable to connect it to PC and make sure it can be detected. Then let's run Alme Partition Assistant and get to its homepage. Here you can see the information of your disks clearly. Click All Tools on the left, and click Disk Clone Wizard. In the pop-up window, select SSD Clone Method. Clone disk quickly or sector by sector clone. The first method will clone used part on source SSD only, and the cloning process takes up less time. It allows for larger SSD to smaller SSD clone. The second method will clone every sector on source SSD, including accidentally formatted sections. Meanwhile, more time required. Here, I choose the first one and click Next. Select the smaller SSD as source disk, then hit Next. Select the larger SSD as target disk. Be sure to check optimize the performance of SSD to align SSD partition automatically. Click Next. All data on the target disk will be wiped out. If you're sure to do this, click Yes. Here are three options to edit partitions on target SSD: clone without resizing partitions. Feed partitions to entire disk. Edit partitions on this disk. Select one of them based on your needs. Click Next to continue. Then it will provide instruction on how to boot from destination SSD. Click Finish. Next, click Apply. Preview the virtual result. Then click Proceed to execute pending operations. Just wait for a short time; it will be finished. Then you can boot from your new SSD now. If you fail to boot from your new SSD, please refer to the previous video. Quick fix: cloned SSD won't boot to troubleshoot the issue. Except for safely cloned to larger SSD. Alme Partition Assistant also supports only migrating your OS to a new SSD, with migrate OS to SSD feature. Above are how to clone SSD to larger SSD. 
Hope you can gain something useful after watching. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.